now we are going to see the purpose of normalization okay obviously the purpose of normalization is to eliminate bad design right so my purpose of normalization is also indicators of bad design okay indicators of bad design so we will look at them one by one first indicator i see is reducing or first indicator is redundant data okay and the purpose would be reducing this redundant data so what what is the indicator of bad design indicator of bad design is redundant data and purpose of normalization is to eliminate redundant data okay so what is redundant data let's assume i have a relation named employee okay in this i have my employee id or rather let's have it just eid okay i have my eid i have this employee's name i have this employee's email i has this employee's official cell number okay this is the cell number of the probably blackberry which was given by office to this guy okay then i have his manager's id okay i suppose i have his department id okay i have this guy's department name and let's suppose i have his department location okay this is my schema or in other words this is my relation okay since my schema is containing only this relation this is also my schema as well okay so i have something like this okay this is my employees table and it's something like this or rather let's have it like this this is in continuation okay department location comes next to department name it is in the same table or same relation now let's realize that i am going to have values like this in my table what i am going to have i am going to have let's suppose employee id 1 2 let's suppose name is jimmy email is let's suppose jimmy at something let's suppose this guy does not have a blackberry by office so i say official cell is null then his manager id let's suppose is 456 his department id i say it's 12 his department name is research his department location is let's suppose santa clara okay now let's suppose i have another guy who has employee id 156 his name is joe his email is joe at something even this guy does not have a blackberry by the office let's suppose his manager is 567 and even this guy works in the research department so his id is going to be 12 his department name is going to be research and he is going to be working in santa clara okay so this is my table so what is the problem that i have in this table the problem is this this is my problem i have to repeat this information again and again for all the employees who are in research okay so this is my redundant data okay 
I am repeating it and it is adding not much value here, okay? If instead of this, I had my table something like this. I suppose I just copy this. If instead of the above table, I had these two tables and the other table is, let's suppose, employee ID, department ID, department, whoops, the other table is department ID department name and department location okay so instead of the above big table I have two smaller tables okay so what would be the values in this it is going to have values like it is going to have whoops let's suppose I I just copy this thing, okay? So I have this, okay? I am just storing my department ID, okay? And in the other table, I am going to store the information regarding my department. I would have here 12 research Santa Clara. Okay. So now just see this information this particular information which was being repeated in the above table is not repeated here. I just store the employee ID and if I need to find oh, sorry I just stored the department ID and if I need to find the location of this department I just take a join with this table okay and then I will get my details so this is how I save space okay so this is how I convert a bad design from a convert a bad design to a good design okay so that was about redundant data this scheme is better this schema is better because it does not involve redundancy this scheme is bad because it is having redundancy in terms of department details okay